What's going on guys? Hope you all had a happy new year. Welcome to 2021. This is the first video of the year. Uh, and in this vid, we're still rolling on the day one white pipe doing the first initial quests at release. I'm currently level 12 at the time of this video. I got myself an AK-74 and I believe I'm running a mixture of PS, PP, and BT. Just a huge just ammo salad because on the first day, it's not that important. As long as you're using rounds that have like anywhere between like 25-ish pen, you probably should be okay. I got the quest BP Depot, so we gotta go plant those markers on customs, and this is obviously one of the most contested quests on the first day, so naturally, you get into some pretty cool fights. With that out of the way, let's get to some of this action. Oh yeah, someone's around here. Oh man, I'm overloading. No, I'm encoding overloading right now. Why am I overloading? Oh, I heard bushes again. Just in case, he's not dead. Ha, <laughs> that was so helpful. <gasps> he's down. <clears throat> Movement. I see him. Dropped one. Two, maybe? Mm. Yep. Can't use the grizzly right now. Now I can. No, it's a player. He's using hollow points, flying heavy bleeds, I think. What an amazing fight. GG, brother. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> That's, uh, dude, I've just been dipping mags all over the place. Look at my bleed. My blood's everywhere. Oh my god. Chechen warlord. Jesus. BTs. At least I got some extra ammo. 
And another relay. I'll take that. Wait, 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 wait. What's he got on his head? Oh, fuck. He's got an Alton on. <laughs> I thought it was just a regular helmet there for a minute. Thanks, guys, for telling me. Jesus. Find and raid Alton. Secret stash, I guess. The Russian rain will kill you. Alright, that's enough. That's enough magazines for now. Let's see if this guy's got water. I'm gonna take his mags here, because I'm assuming they're fresh. Come on, give me water. Give me water. Ooh, a fine and raid morphine. It's only worth it to me fine and raid status. Water? Augman. You need five Wilstons? I know I do. I, I haven't been, like, worried too much about um, bad habit. Bad habit's not that big of a deal to me. Right now. It's like other things I can prioritize. Yo, I legitimately had to defend that marker that time. Yo, that was an awesome battle. Yeah, that was a good fight. Yo, things are so much more interesting when not every single weapon is a goddamn laser beam. Uh, no, I gotta keep moving. Uh, I gotta go and find the water. Give me water. Any good keys? That works. For now, anyway. Milk meta. Yeah, milk is a pretty much guarantee. Or something in there is pretty much a guarantee. Not everyone's going to take all the drinks, like every raid. Okay. I'm aware, I'm trying to, we're so like dangerously close to losing a vital that I just had to cheese up. We have to go to new gas, yeah. Pop another one of these bad boys. I'm just gonna lose, I'm gonna lose hydration because of it though. I wish I had some more water. I might have to actually stay here for a minute. I'm like, no, that guy's gonna have water. He's been looting, guaranteed. Hopefully. Got water. Drum mag. AKM. It's Augustine. Antique axe. Nice. This is a uh, fine and raid one, but I might keep it. Might actually use that one instead of keeping it for Kappa. I mean, there's there's got to be... I, there, I got to find another one. It's been popping painkillers like it's candy all raid. Right, yeah, I got nothing left here. I know we have one more to plant, but I think we should leave this raid. I'm going to leave this raid. Okay. How many people did we kill on this one? I guess three dudes. Wasn't as many. That was a crazy raid, though. I want to know, how many shots did I fire this raid? It was three PMCs and a player scav. And before hydration drop? Well, I mean, we got the painkiller, so yeah, it's going to happen. Really skilled player. Yes, you can tell. You can tell when people are good based off their movements and peaks, flanks and adjustments, and, and aim as well. Oh fuck. Good shot. I don't really know where this guy is. Oh, there he is. Dude, I can't see this guy because I'm fucking. I thought I took a. I thought I took a painkiller.
Behind me. Open the door. That push sucked. Ow. That was a bad time to get a, uh, a fracture. I couldn't see where the guy was because my screen was fucking blasted. Wasn't expecting the shotgun flank. Oh, somebody just got nailed. Pretty sure that's a 215 though, that someone's shooting at the guy. God damn it. Shotguns are really chafing my ass. I'm gonna have to grab his shoddy. Or someone's shotgun. I'm gonna have to grab it because we're out of ammo pretty much. The water. Oh, I know, dude. I know. Uh, that's that 215 guy. Might have to rely on this dude's, uh, pistol here for a little bit. Tony's pistol. Definitely gonna need the drink. That was level two. Yo, he played that pistol pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just being level two. I'm just gonna take one mag. Got a lot of... Beretta magazines, I don't need that much more. This guy, I think, had body armor on. Nope. He had a shotgun, and he was level one. Named Andre. Um, So, here's the deal, guys, as well. I'm going to be doing uh, the collection. So, because I'll probably be streaming at weird hours, there's going to be a patch collection for every single time I play Tarkov um, on stream. So everything's going to be like together. So if you missed a stream or something and you wanted to see how I did a specific type of quest, uh, then yeah, it's going to be there. I would like to down the road. I might even be able to like go into each description and mention what quests we've done in that video, but that can happen down the road. I'm not going to worry about that now, but it'd be kind of nice to have it all catalog uh, cataloged and put on Twitch. So if I'm looking for anything specific as well, that I need footage on in the future, at least I'll have it. So after we turn in the quest BP Depot, we get access to those reserve expansion quests where we gotta go down to the bunkers and explore the areas and the entrances. Really easy experience for day one because there's not gonna be a whole lot of competition on reserve. I mean, people are gonna be farming money, but if they are, it's probably not gonna be the most geared. Or it gives me the opportunity to potentially run into raiders, and if I can kill a couple of those guys, I can get some really good day, day one equipment. So easy missions plus good experience and pretty decent loot. So I was all in on that and decided to head over to reserve. All right, we got to go find this uh, command center. To my left. Okay. Found our guy. Got smoked by the AK scab. What do you got for me? More plugs? Oh shit. It's huge. Sucks that the fire clean gun lubes are um, 
It's needed for both Kappa and the workbench. So I guess the way it's going to work is like, if you die with one, you use it for your workbench. Just buy one for workbench if you live. Oh, that's actually a good point. That's a good point. Who has better starting gear, Bear or Yusek? In my personal opinion, Bear does only because I think the AK-74 is probably one of the best host wipe guns because of finding ammo like BT and stuff and the modifications are way more common and it's way more accessible for putting suppressors. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of people that just like M4s, but I would say for me personally, Bear is better, but a lot of people would... <clears throat> I mean, like, technically, USEC gets better, a better quality of loot. Like, more financial or more, more expensive loot. But Bear gets way more accessible loot, so... Yeah, it just depends, I guess. So, like, I it just kind of, like... With the, with the stuff that you get for bear, it just kind of like reassures my choice for bear moving forward. Oh fuck. Wow. Dude, he just let up on the sneak walk. <clears throat> he just let up on the sneak walk. Wow. He was a quiet boy. Well, I got the Alton on as well, so I can't hear shit. He snuck right up on me. Glizzy? He's got an AVS already? Dude. I might take that. I'm going to. This dude's been killing raiders, I guess. Oh, Usex get AVSs as well. Oh, I didn't know that. We get a Mark II, I suppose. All right, I already have enough T-plugs, I think. I already have enough Wilstons, too. I, I almost. I'll take his Mossy. Look at my blood. I'm gonna drink the milks. Heck tape. Enough T plugs? I got quite a few. I think how do I don't even remember how many T plugs you need. Do you need eight? Or do they reduce it? You need eight. I want to say you need eight. Okay, I need the one up here. Jesus. I'm not seeing any hemos. That was laggy, by the way. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but my frames dipped super hard after that one. I feel like I went down to like 17 frames. GG, you were the flashlight. Yo, Pope, thanks for the Prime Form of Sub. Welcome back, man. Mario, thanks for the Prime 14. BMK Outlaw, thanks for the Prime 5. Appreciate that, guys. Were you the guy that snuck up in, snuck up on me with the, not the guy, just his flashlight? Oh. Okay. This guy's got a vest, too. These guys are probably teammates. Oh, no, never mind. He didn't have it. Level 8. Shamog? I don't think that needs to be fine in a raid either. Uh, shit. Oh, damn. Where the hell do you get the Shamog? We need that for the Ragman quest. It's actually kind of an annoying thing to get. You don't understand? You feel like this woods match is, uh, map is huge. Because it is. It's massive. It's fucking huge, huge.
There we go. Nice. Good raid. Got a couple PMC kills. Picked up some, uh, some quest items. Got that uh, quest done. Not bad. Can't complain.